things you're going to be doing when you reload for a rifle or a pistol is to clean the brass. Unless you get the brass brand new from the factory, it's really important that you clean it for two reasons. One, it makes it more consistent in ignition, and two, it prevents your dies from being scratched up and being damaged. I'm going to be using an ultrasonic cleaner. This one's made by Hornady, but the process is exactly the same no matter what the manufacturer is going to be. This method was taken from 6mmbr.com, and the good thing about this method is that the components are very inexpensive and can be found pretty much anywhere. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to be using a Lee Universal Decapping Die. The great thing about the Lee Universal Decapping Die is that you don't need any lubrication. They're inexpensive and they work on a wide range of cartridges. So let's go ahead and take all these other things off so we can get to it. Placement of your decapping die, unless you have a single stage press, is pretty important. With the Hornady, uh, it actually collects all spent primers into a tube and you have to identify which station the tube is going to be because that's going to make sure that all the primers go into the tube and stay nice and clean. Let's go ahead and start uh, taking these primers out of all the cases. Once you've deprimed all your brass, it's time to make the solution to put it into the ultrasonic cleaner to go ahead and clean your brass. The things you're going to need are distilled white vinegar, distilled water, a little bit of dish soap, I prefer Dawn because they clean penguins with it, and a little bit of baking soda. So let's go ahead and make the solution. The solution is going to be one part water, one part distilled vinegar. And for every eight ounces or one cup of water, go ahead and use one drop of Dawn dish soap or whatever dish soap you have. It's important to know the capacity of your sonic cleaner because you don't want to overload it and you also don't want to fill it up too low. Too low of fluid will damage the unit and too high will make it less effective. Since I'm only demonstrating cleaning a few cases, I'm going to go at about half capacity. And since this is brand new solution, there's a good chance that there are microscopic air bubbles inside of it. Uh, fortunately enough, Hornady has a really good program mode that's called degas. And what this does is it pulses the ultrasonic waves on and off, and that will get rid of the bubbles. So we're going to let this run for about 20 minutes or so, and without heat, because the heat can actually damage the cases. But uh, yeah, and let's go. Function and three two one bing all right the bird's done so now that we ran this through it's a good idea to double check the cleanliness of the case so you can just look down into the neck and with a good amount of light you can see if it's clean all the way this one is so we're good to go so we're going to take this to a sink and go ahead and rinse it off with hot water and then come back for the next few steps. So now that we've went ahead and rinsed the brass of all the vinegar solution, it's time to neutralize it. And if you guys can remember from chemistry class, um, an acid is neutralized by a base and vice versa. So what we're going to do is use about the same amount of distilled water as we did the entire solution last time. So in my case, it's about a liter and we're going to put just a pinch of baking soda. And the baking soda is a very commonly used base and just a pinch will do because again we went ahead and rinsed off most of the vinegar solution so it's not uh, necessary to use a whole lot of baking soda. So let's go ahead and pour it in and we can run this for about five minutes after we poured it in. Okay, so it's already set up five minutes. Let's just press on. 
and we're good to go. Two, one, and boom. All right, so now the brass is all neutralized and we'll go ahead and rinse this with warmer hot water just as we did before with the vinegar solution and we'll just set it out to dry. You can take an air compressor or even use your mouth to blow out some excess water to expedite the process. All right, so that's how you clean brass. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on how to reload for 308 and rifle cartridges and also for 45 ACP as well.